Ice Bucket Challenge brought ALS awareness to all of us while raising a lot of money that has already led to some breakthroughs. But for those living with the disease, the battle is far from over. Eyewitness News reporter Alex Michelson shows us how a new documentary, Honor Tonight in Pasadena, is helping in that fight. As a New Orleans Saint, Steve Gleason represented nearly perfect physical fitness. But then, everything changed. I have been diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Gleason's diagnosis comes just weeks before his wife Michelle discovers she's pregnant. Hello. Hello. Gleason begins a video log for his new son. Can't to you. Those videos are now a part of the documentary Gleason in theaters now. I'm gonna be around, buddy, until you are able to stand on your own. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be awesome. It really shows what the triumph of the human spirit. Clay Tweel directed Gleason. That's what dads do. They pass the best of themselves to their kids. You're watching a guy lose his abilities and lose his sort of motor skills while his son is on the other side, and he's gaining all of these abilities. Gleason is one of the honorees at One Starry Night, a benefit for the ALS Golden West Association. <laughs> A series of actors perform at the Pasadena Playhouse. It's about entertaining and hoping that people will contribute. The patients that I've met that are living and surviving with this are just mind boggling. There's a cure out there and they're getting closer and so we can't stop. 14 million of us completed the Ice Bucket Challenge in 2014. You gotta take the challenge, man. Those viral videos helped raise more than $115 million and recently led to the discovery of three new genes. An unprecedented amount of discovery and an unprecedented amount of clinical trials. It's time. It's time for our cure. Mari Windsor is living with ALS. Other side up. And over. In 2014, we profiled the Pilates guru shortly after her diagnosis. She remains upbeat today. I still am able to be with the man I love and to do what I love to do. Dominic Kumo of Apple Valley is 12 years old, living with ALS. His motto: Never give up. I know Sunday they will die. A cure. In Pasadena, Alex Michelson, ABC7 Eyewitness News.